Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, This is Melissa of Cohesion Marketing, and I am checking in with you. I do apologize. I've had such a hectic weekend. I am just now getting an opportunity to answer the questions in my inbox and my DMs and uh, forum answers or questions uh, regarding Google's latest algorithm update. The new algorithm is called Hummingbird. Hummingbird rolled out last month to select users and is now handling more than 90% of Google's worldwide searches. Hummingbird is the most significant algorithm change since its initial algorithm, Caffeine. This is a major release. According to Google, the new update is called Hummingbird because it is precise and fast. It's actually replacing an algorithm in its entirety. It's a brand new engine. The new engine still continues to use some of the same thinking, same ideas as the previous algorithms, Panda and Penguin. And there will be more Panda and Penguin updates to come to this algorithm in the future. Hummingbird focuses on providing more relevant results to users' queries, which are growing more and more complex and long by understanding the concept and the logic behind the queries. This is major. This is essentially artificial intelligence, AI, if you will. Um, Hummingbird, unlike caffeine, can process query based on meaning of the question, whereas earlier algorithms processed individual words in a question, keywords. And this is a response to key challenge that search engines have been facing of late, voice searches. So with more and more users speaking queries into their phone, the search engine algorithm must decipher uh, these conversational searches, which are more complex than the type ones. Um, I myself use a lot of voice search and have for some time, and um, this is evident in how I search. So when you speak the query, you tend to add more words, and it's, it, like they said, it becomes a conversational search. So Hummingbird is all about um, interpreting these conversational searches which are going to continue to grow. Some of the key features in Hummingbird, uh, as told by Google, are comparisons and filters and Knowledge Graph. Now I'm sure many of you have heard about Knowledge Graph before and what they're doing is expanding expanding the, the features in Knowledge Graph. So if you can answer more questions even those that you don't that don't have a simple answer. So uh, the example that Google uses is okay. Say you want to get your daughter excited about a visit to the Met. You can pull up your phone and say, "Tell me about impressionist artists." You'll see who the artists are. You can dive in and learn more about them. Explore their most famous works. If you want to switch to abstract artists, you can do that because there's a new filter tool, and you can see that tool is evidenced on the screenshot kind of just really gives you an option to dig further into your query. So whereas in this case, this woman wanted to know how to get her daughter interested in a trip to the Met. But that's not what she Googled. What she Googled is, tell me more about impressionist artists. This result will give her the necessary information that she was seeking in order to excite her child to want to take this trip. So as you can see, it's just kind of... um knowing you more google has already provided us with intuitive search uh oft times you you don't even finish asking the question when the answer arrives so this is just more on that line of just really digging in deeper to uh providing answers for a person okay now this new screenshot is showing you um say you want to compare two things how much is uh saturated fat is in butter as opposed to olive oil Now you can simply tell Google, compare butter with olive oil. And the new comparison tool gives you insights by letting you compose your own answer. So all you're asking is compare butter to olive oil. As you can see from the response here, very um, detailed information. So you're not actually saying what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for the cholesterol. Uh, Maybe you want to know fat grams, um, et cetera, et cetera, how many calories. So what this does is you ask that comparison, and it gives you a bevy of answers um, at which you select whatever uh, is the answer that you would need for your question. Um, 
you can try this with a lot of different things. So what you would just do is whatever you want to compare, you would just say, you know, compare red versus blue or whatever it is that you would want to be looking for. And um, they'll assist in your search. Now, another thing that has changed with Google, and I'm sure you've heard of Google uh, now before, but Google wants to make having a conversation with Google to be natural. They want it to be more natural. You're already talking to your phone. You know your phone. I talk to my phone as if it was a person and the person is in the room with me. And um, amazingly, I'm able to get a very excellent uh, response from those conversations, you know. Ideally, if you want to talk to Google, you want it to be more natural. You're not. You wouldn't have to pull out your phone or tap buttons to use Google. So um, they're not actually there 100% with voice, but you can already do a lot with voice on your phone. In the next couple of weeks, they're gonna you're gonna be able to download for um, our um, iOS users a new search app for iPhone and for iPad. With the update, you're gonna be able to get notifications across all your devices. And the example that Google uses is say you tell your Nexus 7, okay Google, remind me to buy olive oil at Safeway. When you walk into the store with your iPhone, you'll get a reminder. Google will also show you Google Now notifications so you're not gonna be late for your cooking class. So the whole goal is just to really um, consolidate uh, pun intended, is to keep it cohesive. They want to know you you want all of your information to be provided to you in a cohesive manner. Um, last but not least, they provided a more unified design on mobile devices. Once again, back to mobile, because mobile is increasingly becoming a part of most everyone's world. Um, how you search, how you talk, how you see what you see. So, the new design for mobile devices, it is a new look and feel, it is cleaner, um, simpler, it's optimized for touch, the results are on cards, so you can focus on the answers that you're looking for and move on to whatever, uh, or, or skip past what you're not looking for. So essentially, Google is inviting you with the new um, search with Hummingbird to explore the world with your knowledge graph, ask questions out loud with voice search. And get information even before you need to ask for it with Google Now. Overall, it's um, not much to complain about <laughs> for the first time in a long time. And then this is for all my SEO people. You know, you know that there are so many components to making a website rank on the top of a search engine and drive traffic to a site. And there are a bevy of ways, both black hat and white hat, to get results to places um, on the World Wide Web. This push with the new Google Hummingbird actually is a call for authenticity, transparency, honesty. So for the business, and these are things near and dear to my heart, and I pride myself on running my, uh, my business with authenticity, transparency, honesty is a part of it. This is just so crucial because for the first time, um, once again, Thank you, Google. They have laid, leveled the playing field. So as this this uh, new search algorithms, and they tend to all, um, everybody will update uh, on to a certain degree. With the new algorithm, it is um, a key time for small business. How to get there, how to grow, how to stay there, um, and get ahead of the pack. This just happened. People aren't there yet. This is a prime time for the small company. Because unlike these major businesses, although they have a bevy of um, employees and a multitude of uh, spending options when it comes to promotion and advertising, the, they have so many people that they have to go through to implement these ideas. It will take a minute for them to truly understand the power of search and, and how to answer a question to a potential customer. Whereas the small business is intimately familiar with the client who was their core target customer, these things are the things that will help you level the playing field. You'll be able to tell your story. Um, and what better than to have a major uh, trust magnet such as Google to help you tell it? 
because Google's ultimate goal is to provide you with service that you need. As the search field continues to heat up and a lot of emerging markets are trying to enter that space, Google wants to ensure it is your first choice. It is your number one stop. Um, it's the person that you trust. And if it's being bombarded with spam and black hat tactics, that's not going to be the first engine that you go to. And ultimately, that's what it all comes back to. Google wants to be chosen. Um, and this is yet a fine move into that arena. So to wrap it all up, Google marked its 15th anniversary of when Google began on September the 27th, 2013. The day before, Google officially leaked the release of Hummingbird Update for its algorithm, which gives more comprehensive answers. The changes in the algorithm essentially move away from keywords uh, and over to more complete statements. Google uses its knowledge graph data to compile a file of all related information for your query. And Google's also announced advanced voice tools to uh, help you do what you do even better. In the end, this update doesn't change the way you should be optimizing your website. All of the past Google advice still stands, so you don't have to worry about changing strategy. You just want to continue to build and present and share an optimized website so people looking for your products, your thoughts, your services, uh, anything that your business offers or provides, they can find it. So that's it. Check back on August. See if there are any changes. Likely you may not have one if, if or have any. If you don't, good job. I hope you guys have a fabulous Monday. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Shoot a response here. I try to answer everything. You can give me a call at the office. I'll post all of my contact information. Again, my name is Melissa with Cohesion Marketing. And I'm reporting live to you for Simply Social Radio. Make it a great day, guys.